If you live in a climate like Cleveland or anywhere in the Midwest where you have a winter that's longer than three months, sometimes as long as six months, you need at least two outer coats. Uh, this first one is a modern car coat, so it's a shorter length, typically hits about mid-thigh. And there's lots of cool things you can do with it. You can pick a pattern a fabric. This one has a fly cover, so you don't actually see any buttons down the front, which is a very modern trim, slick look. And then it also has a very cool uh, zipper that goes down in addition to the buttons that you can use. Uh, we did some accents with cool lining. And then on the sleeves, there's a cool strap with a button. So overall, very modern look. This is a stand-up. It's a special collar that uh, is called a Nehru collar. is the technical term for it. So this would be more for 30 degrees and below, 40 degrees and below, so your colder temperatures, it's a wool cashmere blend pattern, but it also comes in solids, navy gray and charcoal would be the colors that most guys gravitate towards. The other coat is the one behind me, which is more of a mid-season coat. It's like a rain coat, um, but it's a modern trench, again, mid-thigh as opposed to full length, and it's got a lot of that different details you'd expect for a rain coat. So double-breasted, it's got the belt, that's an optional feature. The uh, main difference between a car coat and a trench coat is that a car coat hits mid-thigh. A modern trench, most guys are wearing it just to the top of the knee. Uh, you rarely see somebody wearing a jacket that goes all the way down to the ankle or about that length anymore. So that's some FYI as far as outerwear.